Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church, and I want to say Merry Christmas once again. This has been such a joy to be able to share these Christmas devotionals with you this past month, and we only have a couple of days left. I want to remind you about Christmas Eve service. It's this Friday at 5 o'clock. We'll have a candlelight service where we'll have glow sticks for the kids so that everything's safe. And of course, we'll have a special guest after service that would really love to meet your children. Well, we're going to continue on with going through one of the ornaments from our Chrismon tree. Chrismon is a combination of two words. It's the word Christ and the word monogram. And these two words come together to describe these beautiful gold and white ornaments handmade by ladies in our church. Uh, each one represents a different characteristic or attribute of God that teaches us a little bit about Jesus. And today we are going to look at the Tau Cross. Now, the Tau Cross is a T-shaped cross, sometimes with all three ends of the cross expanded. And it's called the Tau Cross because it's shaped like the Greek letter Tau, which in its uppercase form looks a lot like the familiar Latin letter T. It's also sometimes described as an incomplete cross. It's used as a symbol of Old Testament prophets who looked forward to, but never saw the completion of what they wrote about in Jesus. So it's an anticipatory cross and it picks up the theme of Advent. Advent means arrival. Every single week through the month of December, we count the days until Christmas. That first Christmas was an advent. It was the world waiting for a Messiah, the Messiah of prophecy. One of those Christmas prophecies that we often read is Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin will be with child and bear a son, and she will call his name Emmanuel. But today, for you and me, Advent now holds a second meaning. Christ will come again. A New Testament prophecy is Hebrews chapter 9, verse 28, which says, So Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. Sure. We're all waiting in Advent for Christmas Day. And on that day, we light the center white candle. But I hope that you are all longing for another great day, the day Jesus returns in glory on a white horse. Merry Christmas to all.